Welcome to CountArts. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to calculate the present value of a single amount or the present value of a lump sum using the financial calculator, the HP 10B2+. Plus. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we have two examples that we'll go through and we've done these examples before. In fact, we've done them using the formula. So if you'd like to check that one out where we explain them in great detail, you'll find the links to those lessons in the description below. Okay, but let's take a look at the first one here. We are told that John wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years in order to buy a filming camera. He wants to invest in an account that earns 8% interest compounded annually. How much should he invest today in order to achieve this goal? Okay, so we know that we want the present value because we are asked how much he should invest today. We are told that he wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years. That is the future value. Okay. And we know it's for 10 years and we know that it's 8% interest, but it's compounded annually, compounded annually. So let me switch on my calculator. Now we know this specific calculator by default, it's compounded 12 times per year. Okay. It's compounded monthly, 12 times per year. That is okay. So you want to change that to compounded annually. Okay. To one compounding per year. Okay, so if you want to do that, it's quite simple with this financial calculator. First of all, how do you know it's 12 times per year? Well, it is by default 12 times per year. For you to check that, you just clear your memory. How do you do that? You press the orange button facing down and then you press C or clear all. And you can see it shows you the compounds per year to be 12 per year. Okay, let me press that again, orange, and then C, and you can see it's showing me 12 per year. Okay, that means 12 compounds per year. But here we are told that it's 8% interest compounded annually okay so that means it's compounded once per year so when i change from 12 to 1 how do we do that well it's very simple with this calculator we want to change it to 1 so we press 1 and then we press the orange button facing down and then we press pmt you can see under it in orange it's payments per year okay we press pmt and now it has changed the compounding from 12 to 1 how do i know that well let me clear my screen by pressing c let me press orange again and then C, and you can see it's now one per year. Okay, that's what we want. Now we can do our calculation. Now we know it's for 10 years. We just press the number of years, 10, and then we press here N, which stands for the number of compounding periods. And then we have the interest rate of 8%. So we press 8, and then we pr press I slash Y. And then we have the future value of 120,000 rand. So we put 120,000 and then we press future value, okay? So we've put all the details that we needed to put, now we need the present value. So you just press present value. And there it has told you, if you want to have 120,000 Rand at the end of 10 years, at the rate of 8% per annum compounded annually, he will need to invest 55,583 Rand 22 cents today, okay? And that is how you do it. You can see how simple it is with this calculator. Now let's do the second example, okay? The only difference with the second example is obviously now you have different compoundings, okay? So let me press C just to clear my memory, uh, my screen. And then let me clear my memory. You always want to do that with your financial calculator, okay? You want to make sure that you clear memory before any other calculations. Again, we showed you various ways of doing that in our other lessons, and you'll find the link in the description below. But you just press orange, and then you press C just to clear all your memory, okay? But what you need to note is that the payments per year does not change when you press uh, the downward, the orange, and the C, the payments per year does not change, okay? So we'll need to change that. But let's see what the second example is all about. John wants to buy a car in two years' time. He wants to know how much he should deposit into a fixed account offering 11% per annum compounded monthly in order for him to buy a car worth 200,000 Rand. Okay, so this guy wants to buy a car in two years' time and the car is worth 200,000 Rand in two years' time. He wants to know how much he should invest today at the rate of 11% compounded monthly. Now we know the compounding is monthly. Now we did change our compoundings from monthly or 12 times per year, which is the default of this calculator, to per annum to annually okay so now we need to change it back to monthly so for you to always check what compounding it is like i showed you just press the orange and the c just like you clear memory and then you can see it's one per year so we need to change it back to 12 per year how do you do that just press 12 the same way we did when we change to month to annually and then you press the orange button and then you press pmt and you can see now it has changed it to 12 okay so let me just clear my screen and for us to check we just press the orange and the c and you can see now it's back to 12 per year okay now we can do the calculation the n is for two years okay so we know it's for two years 
but it's not just for two years we know that if it's for two years and it's compounded monthly we have to put that into account so if it's compounded more than once per year you just press the number of years you're given which is two in our case and then we press the orange button okay and then we press n and what it does is that it takes the number of years multiplied by the number of compoundings per year okay so it just took the two years multiplied by the number of compoundings per year which is 12 compoundings per year because it's compounded monthly okay now it has input for you into your calculator how many compoundings it is how many compounding periods you have okay and then we do everything else the exact same way we did we always do it we press the 11 percent as the interest rate okay and then we press the 200,000 rand as our future value that's what we put as our future value and then we just compute the present value just press pv and there we have it 160,664 rand and 70 cents i hope it has made sense i hope you now know how to do the present value of a single amount with different compoundings till next time cheers